Top Hollywood star disgusted that Roman Reigns has been championed for more than three years CM Punk's return updates. The Miz to dethrone Gunther at Survivor Series, Matt Riddle looking unbelievably jacked ahead of massive first post WWE match. Rhea Ripley stripped of her women's championship due to breaking major Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins friends in real life. Randy Orton turns on Cody Rhodes, solo Siko worried about Randy Orton. Let's dive right into it. CM Punk's return updates. WWE Survivor Series, War Games is only a few sleeps away and Shinsuke Nakamura has been dropping some hints on Raw for a potential blockbuster match. While many fans think he could face a returning CM Punk at the show, others believe another superstar couldn't compete against him in a dream match. The artist has suffered a few setbacks as a heel on Raw. He repeatedly challenged Seth Rollins for the World Heavyweight Championship but failed to win the title. Shinsuke Nakamura has no match scheduled for Saturday's Survivor Series War Game. However, fans believe his recent hints could lead him to a match against a returning superstar. That dream match could happen if AJ Styles or Brock Lesnar return at the premium live event. Many fans believe that a returning Styles would get a Shinsuke Survivor Series War Games match. That could take the phenomenal one to the Raw brand following his return. Meanwhile, some believe that it could be Brock Lesnar, Braun Strowman, or even Mustafa Ali, who could return to face the artist. It would be great to see any of the three men take him on in a top match. WBE has kept Shinsuke Nakamura's promos cryptic, and many in the company are reportedly unaware of who he might be targeting. It's unlikely that CM Punk will return to WWE at Survivor Series. The creative team decided to squash many rumors by announcing Randy Orton as the fifth member of Team Cody in the War Games match. However, the creative team could pull off a major swerve and bring Punk back to the PLE in Chicago. It would be great to see Shinsuke Nakamura have a dream match in front of the best in the world's home crowd. Having Punk return opposite a heel Nakamura would allow him to establish a babyface character early on. That will enable fans to connect with him again if he returns to WWE before he can go for a world championship. Do you want to see CM Punk return to face Nakamura at Survivor Series, War Games? The Miz to dethrone Gunther at Survivor Series. The MVP Hall of Famer Booker T has weighed in on the Miz upcoming match against Gunther for the Intercontinental Championship at WWE Survivor Series. The ring general has been on a dominant run as champion, and he's defeated everyone that has stepped in his path. He broke the Honky Tonk Man's record to become the longest reigning I the Champion, champion of all time. His current rival, the A-Lister, has held the coveted title eight times, and many fans consider him to be one of the best superstars to have held the gold. Speaking on the latest edition of the Hall of Fame podcast, Booker T stated that he doesn't think The Miz is going to beat Gunther at Survivor Series, but he believes that the latter is a legend and a future WWE Hall of Famer. You know what? I don't know. I don't think so. I'm not feeling it. But this is a good one for Miz to actually go out there and step up and put himself in harm's way. Because I'm going to tell you right now, he's going to get the hell beat out of him. He's going to be bruised badder than inaudible when he walks out of that squared circle. So for me, Miz is going to go out and do what he does, and that's work. Win or lose, The Miz is a legend in this business. A future WWE Hall of Famer, said Booker. The former WWE champion earned the right to challenge for the Intercontinental Championship after winning a fatal four-way match on an episode of Monday Night Raw. This will be his first singles match against the Imperium leader. Speaking to Chris Van Vliet in a recent interview, Gunther says he's excited about his upcoming match against The Miz. I'm really excited for the match. It's honestly because I think when I joined the main roster was clear for me. I need to make a statement, said Gunther. It'll be interesting to see whether The Miz will be the one to dethrone Gunther for the IC title and walk out of SummerSlam as a nine-time champion. Do you think a new Intercontinental Champion will be crowned at Survivor Series? Matt Riddle looking unbelievably jacked ahead of massive first post-WWE match. Former WWE superstar Matt Riddle is still hitting the gym regularly, if his latest post on social media is any indication. Riddle has been involved in his fair share of controversies in the past. He was finally released by WWE on September 22, mere days after his appearance at the Superstar Spectacle 2023 event in India. Matt Riddle has been quite active on his social media handles since his release. He is set to battle WWE Hall of Famer Rob Van Dam in March next year. In a new picture, Riddle can be seen showing off his incredible physique. It's clear as day that Riddle is spending a lot of time at the gym. Matt Riddle's goal was to retire Brock Lesnar. Back in 2019, Riddle opened up about wanting to retire WWE legend Brock Lesnar in multiple interviews. This didn't sit well with the Beast Incarnate, who confronted Riddle backstage at Royal Rumble 2020 and made it clear that the two would never wrestle each other. Matt Riddle later had a chat with Corey Graves on his After the Bell podcast and had the following to say about his confrontation with Lesnar. I'll be honest with you, the guy has it all. I think he's taking my comments as like literal disrespect. I think he really hates me, which hey, ah, I get it. I rubbed you the wrong way. I told everybody that I get it. I'll stay away. I won't call people out anymore. I won't call these people out anymore. I'm not going to go away. I'm going to make myself valuable enough to where the money is on the table. I know I can do that. Lesnar did get in the ring with Riddle though, albeit in multi-man bouts like Royal Rumble and the Elimination Chamber. Unfortunately, fans will probably never get to see a one-on-one -on -one encounter between the two men. What are your thoughts on Riddle's physique? 
Rhea Ripley stripped of her women's championship due to breaking major. Rhea Ripley is heading into WWE Survivor Series with a major challenge, but she might still get involved with another match at the event. With the Survivor Series, War Games event days away, Judgment Day may be facing odds that are against them despite having the proverbial advantage going into the match. On Raw this week, Drew McIntyre won the advantage for Judgment Day, defeating Jay Uso. However, he didn't get the chance to celebrate for too long, as Cody Rhodes then announced the return of a top star to the company and as a part of his team, Randy Orton. While not naming him, the hints he dropped were enough for fans to confirm that the Apex Predator would be back and siding with Rhodes at Wargame. That with a major return like Orton, Judgment Day may be in trouble on the night of the event. Given that they like to stack the numbers in their favor, and have done so regularly since first forming in WWE, they may just depend on their best weapon in Rhea Ripley. Ripley has never hesitated to get involved in men's matches, and although she's facing Zoe Stark, is likely to do so again at Wargames. As a presence outside the ring, or even if she sneaks into the ring, her interference could well lead to Cody Rhodes' side losing. However, there is one man who won't take it well. Although the match does not have traditional rules, Adam Pearce wants both sides to keep things fair so that the feud ends. Clearly tired of all of the brawls between the two sides on Raw so far, he would not want either side to have an excuse to continue the feud any further after the event. That, if Rhea Ripley intervenes and helps her side in the match, she might find herself punished the day after on Raw, where Adam Pearce may decide to strip her of her title. Pearce has come into his own as an authority figure in recent weeks and may further look to establish himself by making a firm ruling on the match. Matter. Given that the Eradicator has shown herself as a dominant champion who has defeated all her opponents at one time or another, she might be facing a bigger challenge than she's used to with Zoe Stark. Stark's place in WWE is on the rise, and although she's not really had that establishing victory in the company yet, she's not far from it. A win over Rhea Ripley at Survivor Series would get her there. Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins' friends in real life Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins' interaction after Raw has convinced fans that the two stars are friends in real life. Rhodes made his big returns at WWE at last year's WrestleMania and defeated Seth Rollins in a singles match. The American Nightmare went on to defeat the Visionary in every single match that they had over the next few months. Since then, both Rhodes and Rollins have made it clear that they aren't friends in real life, though they respect each other's work in the ring. On the latest edition of Raw, Cody Rhodes announced the return of Randy Orton at Survivor Series or Games 2020. After the show went off the air, Cody, Rollins, Jay Uso, and Sami Zayn stayed in the ring to interact with the crowd. Cody Rhodes and Rollins looked at each other for a few seconds in what seemed like a wholesome interaction between two friends. The clip quickly went viral on wrestling Twitter. Rollins has been lauded by the WWE Universe in the recent past for putting Rhodes over following his return to the promotion last year. On the SI Media podcast, the visionary opened up about his relationship with Cody Rhodes. There's a healthy jealousy and some capacity on both sides. He has mentioned recently that we both are vying constantly to be the top guy on the top show, Monday Night Raw, and that's the truth. And so, there's respect. Friendship, I don't know that I would go that far, but yeah, it's very complex situation between the two of us, that's for sure. Rhodes and Rollins will be on the same team at Survivor Series, War Games. The duo will team up with Jay Lusso, Sami Zayn, and a returning Randy Orton in a War Games match against the Judgment Day. What do you think? Are Cody and Seth good friends behind the scenes? Randy Orton turns on Cody Rhodes. WWE fans recently took to Twitter, convinced that Randy Orton will definitely turn heel on his long-term ally Cody Rhodes. Rhodes after 13 years following his return at Survivor Series on November 25, 2023. Orton will finally make his much-awaited return for the Survivor Series War Games match. The Viper is set to team up with the American Nightmare, Jey Uso, Sami Zayn, and Seth Rollins to face off against The Judgment Day and Drew McIntyre. Cody Rhodes and Randy Orton have a rich history together as the latter formed a heel faction in 2008 known as The Legacy, which included Rhodes and Ted DiBiase Jr. as well. However, things changed in 2010 as DiBiase eliminated the legend killer from an elimination chamber match after hitting him with a pipe that was given by Cody. The following day, Orton attacked his stablemates, turning himself face in the process. The trio then started feuding and competed in a triple threat match at WrestleMania 26, in which the Viper emerged victorious. The WWE Universe recently took to Twitter, as they believed Randy Orton would definitely turn on Cody Rhodes and possibly start a feud with the latter. Most were convinced that Orton would turn on Rhodes at WrestleMania 40 during the American Nightmare's possible match with Roman Reigns. One Twitter user wrote that the feud will start after Cody becomes champion. Some believe Orton and Rhodes will compete at WWE SummerSlam 2024. Others wanted the Viper to go after the American Nightmare for the championship. On a recent edition of the Busted Open podcast, WWE Hall of Famer Bully Ray said that Randy Orton might turn on Cody Rhodes just after they win the Survivor Series, or games match to possibly start a feud with the American Nightmare before the latter goes after Roman Reigns. Imagine the baby faces go over in the war games, and as they are getting their hands raised, RKO out of nowhere from Randy to Cody is set up the last hurdle in the hard time story before Cody gets to Roman. Randy wants a shot. Randy is a four-time champion and would definitely want a shot at Roman Reigns because of what the bloodline did to him, Bully Ray said. Fans are even
eagerly waiting to see what WWE has in store for Survivor Series on November 25, 2023. Do you think Randy Orton will turn on Cody Rhodes? Solo Sikoa worried about Randy Orton. WWE Universe has reacted to Paul Heyman's latest message to John Cena after his loss to Solo Sikoa, a crown jewel. Since Sikoa's victory over the 16-time world champion, Heyman hasn't wasted an opportunity to brag about the Enforcer's win. At the recently concluded premium live event in Saudi Arabia, Sikoa destroyed Cena, hitting him with the Samoan spike multiple times. The loss has seemingly marked the conclusion of the 16-time world champion's latest WWE run. His future as a professional wrestler remains uncertain. To Twitter slash X, Heyman sent out a bold statement claiming that Sokoa's victory marked the end of the Cena and the Cenation era. Solo got it done. He entered John Cena and the Cenation, wrote Heyman. In reaction, the WWE Universe warned Heyman about the returning Randy Orton. Fans believe he will soon step up to the Tribal Chief, who was responsible for putting the Viper on the sidelines for over a year. However, fans also praised Sokoa, with one Twitter user even suggesting that the Enforcer has been carrying the bloodline. While Heyman continues to take shots at John Cena on television in real life, he has never shied away from praising the 16-time WWE World Champion. In a previous interview with Rick Rubin on his Tetragram and podcast, Heyman claimed that Cena was a real-life hero and spoke highly of him. He said, John Cena to me is a real-life hero. He's a superhero. When I become a grandparent one day, if I'm asked what my grandchildren should watch or read comic books or whatever, it will not be watch Superman or Batman or Spider-Man or The Incredible Hulk. You want to see a superhero? Go see what John did with his life outside of the ring. That man's a superhero. I don't have the words to convey the admiration I have for John as a human being. It remains to be seen what the future holds for Cena in WWE. Sokoa, meanwhile, has his sights set on L.A. Knight, who lost Roman Reigns at Crown Jewel. Do you think Cena will return to WWE? Top Hollywood star disgusted that Roman Reigns has been champion for more than three years. A massive Hollywood star has reacted to Roman Reigns being WWE's top champion for three years. Adam Sandler is a veteran who has mostly worked as a comedic leading actor. The five-time Primetime Emmy Award winner is a lifelong WWE fan. Many aren't aware that Sandler attended WrestleMania 21 in 2005 and cheered for Hulk Hogan moments after he disposed of Muhammad Hassan and Daivari. In a new clip by Chris Van Vliet on his YouTube channel, Adam Sandler is told that Roman Reigns has been the WWE's top champion for three years. At Payback 2020, Reigns pinned Braun Strowman to win the Universal Championship. Fast forward to now, he has surpassed 1,100 days as the Universal Champion. He has also completed over a year as the WWE Champion. Reigns is the undisputed WWE Universal Champion on the SmackDown brand. As for Adam Sandler, he has spoken up about his love for wrestling in several interviews in the past. Here's what he said in an interview with Chris Van Vliet earlier this year. I knew my wrestling better when I was a kid. When I was young, Manchester, New Hampshire, my father said, I got tickets for me and my brother. We went and saw wrestling, and the giant fought Fuji and Tanaka, and I was there live as a kid, and we were going crazy. That was big. It would be interesting to hear Reigns' thoughts on Sandler's reaction to learning that he has been the top champion for over three years. Reigns recently put down LA Knight at Crown Jewel 2023 to retain his undisputed WWE Universal title. Do you think Reigns' title reign has overstayed its welcome? The blood creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gon' feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon I got eyes in the back of my head, I'm seeing Take me for 